I'm Scott, and this is Cooking with Brio. Today we're making easy, delicious, over-the-fire donuts. Stay tuned. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is some flaky biscuits, they're called. And the hardest part about this whole recipe is getting this bad boy open. And now for my favorite part. You just gotta get a fork in there. And oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> open it up. We should have eight delicious pre-portioned things of rolls. Now you may think I'm cheating a little bit, but when you're camping or out in the wilderness, this is a great way to do it. Especially if it's cold enough outside, you don't even have to put that stuff in the fridge. And now you're just gonna wanna form these. You can use your fingers just to pull it away and we're gonna make these right into the shape of donuts. And you can actually get them pretty thin because they will puff up when you start to cook them. All right, so we're ready to put the donuts in. I wanna check the oil. I just pulled it to the side here and I'm using my meat thermometer to get me close. We wanna be right around 350. And we're actually spot on. So I am gonna put it back over heat. I'm gonna leave it up a little bit higher because as soon as we put those donuts in, it's gonna cool the oil temp. And we have a few of these to cook. And again, you just wanna be really careful because fire and oil don't mix. All right, we're gonna do our first test one, see how it goes. Always lay the, the donuts away from you. Whenever you're putting anything to hot oil, you just wanna lay it away from you so it doesn't splash up on you. And that's what you wanna see. Just that nice, even rolling boil. I think we're looking good, so I am gonna put three in there to start. Key is to get a nice texture on the outside but also have it be fully cooked on the inside. Uh, so that temperature is really important. All right, so these are, should be ready to flip. Oh baby, now we're cooking. So these are gonna end up being like peeling apart just beautifully. And it's not gonna take long on that other side to cook them. We'll get these out of here in about 30 seconds. They should be cooked all the way through. Got a nice crisp on the outside. All right, so I just flipped those. I wanna quick get my mixture together. That way we can go with those hot donuts right into a mixture. We have cinnamon sugar. We got about a cup of sugar and about a, a quarter cup of cinnamon. I'm gonna mix that up real nice. That way it's ready to dip the donuts in right away. And of course we have our powdered sugar right over here as well. And get creative with it. There's other fun options. But this personally, cinnamon sugar is my favorite. Let's pull these donuts out. Delicious golden brown. Look at how they fluff up like that. That is what I'm talking about. So they drain a little bit on your plate, and then I like to go in with them right away. That way it picks up all that cinnamon and sugar. If you wait too long, they dry out, and then uh, the cinnamon and sugar doesn't stick. Get those all in there. Oh baby, these are gonna be stinking awesome. Oh, quick tip. If your oil is too hot, if your oil's too hot, if it's up at like 450 or something like that, save a little room temperature oil to add to it. It'll cool it down. Obviously, you don't wanna add anything other than oil to the oil or else water and oil don't mix as well. Um, so just add a little bit of room temp oil. It'll bring your temp down and it helps it cool down a lot quicker. And that is it. That's how you make donuts over the Brio with using biscuit dough and simple ingredients for the toppings. These are gonna be delicious, but now it's for my favorite part. We are gonna try this bad boy. Look at that beautiful, scrumptious, 
Oh my word. Mmm. It's like the texture of a funnel cake with the decadence of a beautiful donut. That's it for today. Cooking with Brio. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good one.